Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement. In this video tutorial, we will learn uh, about a feature that is skip file with errors and how to use this. So let's say if you are so let's say if you are importing a data from a specific folder in your hard drive and you have different kind of files. So let's say you just want to append the data from multiple Excel workbooks and you want don't want uh, the other files to be included like pdf or text or any other right so you have that feature available that is known as skip file with errors so let's start get start with the normal process of appending so if i go to um, power bi and i will go to get data which is in home tab so click on more select the folder click on connect now define the folder path here click ok now it shows you uh, the metadata uh, regarding that folder so this folder basically contains all some different kind of files like uh, text file notepad pdf and excel we just want to get data and append from all excel files only right so for example, uh, if I click on combine and load at this point of stage, so there is a window appears of combined files and you will find that feature uh, which is known as skip file with errors. So here you can see, right? So for instance, if I don't uh, click on this feature, if I just uh, make it as default and you can see on the sample file option here, when you open this drop down menu, you will find all the files in that specific folder so i will go with the first file which is the excel file uh, and that will probably copy the patterns and to get the data from other files as well but i'm not enabling this particular feature right so what happens is uh, technically uh, the text file and the pdf file in this particular folder is not the similar kind of structure whereas if you compare with the excel file so it technically gives you an error okay so in that condition we have to check mark skip file with errors but let me uh, do it first strongly so that you can observe what kind of error it appears and then we will do with this particular feature okay so let me click ok now it will start evaluating the query and uh, okay so it's loading the data and let's see if it successfully execute or it gives in a kind of an error all right so as you can see here the error appears so error, error is here right so that was not successfully appended the file from all those excel files and to ignore the text file and the pdf file right so in this kind of situation we will use that feature so let's get start so i will go to get data more select the folder click on connect copy the folder path click ok and now at this point of stage, uh, let's click on combine and load. Now what we will be doing is we will be selecting that option that is known as uh, skip file with error. So let's check mark this. And uh, in the sample file, we have selected this Excel file that is for the April. And uh, once you have checked this uh, feature what it will do is it will basically ignore the text file in the PDF file and other different files uh, and uh, the process will be run smoothly okay so let's click on ok let's wait for a few seconds meanwhile let's load the data and you can see that 122 rows being loaded so there was technically no error has been showed and uh, with that enabling that feature skip file with errors have excluded the different sources of files like text and pdf because the structure was not similar and we have successfully got our appended data right so we got the data from april fab jan and march as well right and moreover if you add some more excel files for the next month uh, if they are in the similar kind of excel same format that will you just need to go to the home tab and click on refresh whereas uh, if later on if any user puts any different kind of file here uh, that and when you refresh in the power bi it will not give you an error because you have initially selected skip file with errors option there so i hope you understand this feature and the use of it thank you